everyone, I am Shanas from Manage Engine and in this video we are going to be talking about the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack. The Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack is one of the largest most publicly admitted ransomware attacks of the United States and the Colonial Pipeline which is responsible for distributing fuel and gasoline to Eastern America was attacked by an attack group called Darkside. Now these attackers hacked into the VPN of the Colonial Pipeline well, the computerized controls of the Colonial Pipeline were hacked at multiple levels. For initial access, these attackers relied upon the VPN username and password of an employee who worked for the Colonial Pipeline. Now, how exactly did they gain access to the VPN username and password of an employee? Well, this employee has used the same username and password, the one that he used for the Colonial Pipeline account, for one of his personal accounts as well. And his personal account got hacked on a different data breach at a different time. And now that the attack groups had access to a username and password of one account of a person who worked for the Colonial Pipeline, they wanted to see if the same username and password has been used across various accounts of the same person. And that is how they gained access into the Colonial Pipeline's network. So using the same username and password across multiple accounts is such a huge threat and this is exactly how the Colonial Pipeline was first hacked and the initial access into the Colonial Pipeline was due to the VPN username and password of an employee. Now once the initial access was done, the attackers then downloaded malicious payloads within the network and then they laterally moved across the network and exfiltrated as much information as possible from the Colonial Pipeline's network. Now once they exfiltrated information, they also went ahead to encrypt files, folders and also crippled a few functionalities of the Colonial Pipeline. Now this is where they went into double extortion. Now even after exfiltrating data, they went ahead to demand a ransom of 4.4 million US dollars. And the Colonial Pipeline readily agreed and paid the ransom because they wanted the pipeline to be up and running. Now even after paying the ransom, the Colonial Pipeline had to do a clean search just to identify if the attackers have left any backdoor entry points or if they've installed any other malware or ransomware within the Colonial Pipeline's network. So once they identified that there was no other malicious activity that was happening within the pipeline and that the attack has been completely contained, they then went ahead and brought the pipeline up and running. Now if you look at the attack chain, all of it started with the VPN hack. And this VPN hack could have been avoided if this one particular victim had enabled multi-factor authentication for his account. So it is extremely critical that users in any organization have enabled multi-factor authentication for logging into their user accounts. And also it is extremely critical for organizations to monitor VPN activities to make sure that no malicious activities are happening at the VPN level. Thank you.